Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to do a pretty small little collective haul. So um, these are fragrances that I have picked up just over the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, but I've got some good stuff here. I'm just going to jump right in. So uh, first I got a couple, I got a card in the mail um, from a subscriber. This is it's a super cute card. It was just kind of like a, so yeah, it was just a sweet like, hey, let's catch up card. Really sweet. And then I did get another little handwritten note. This came with a couple of decants that she sent, which we're going to get into. I'm super excited, but yeah, I always have to show off handwritten notes because I love them so much. Okay, so the first couple came from the same person that I picked up the... Al Andalib from. Um, she actually sent me decants of all of these fragrances and I fell in love with them all and she was like, if you want them, I will totally give them to you for like a really good price. And I was like, absolutely. So she listed them on Poshmark for me and I definitely snapped them up. Um, the first one is this one here from Ajmal. This is, this is the one called Regina. Um, I... I shared these with you guys back when she sent the decants for sure. This has such a nice sprayer on it. This is just, it's like a, and this bottle is so pretty. I don't know that I can hold it by the lid without it coming off. Yeah, it's such a pretty bottle. Really, really like unique bottle. Very pretty. Um, so. Regina, it's funny, now that it's not, now that it's coming directly out of the bottle, it definitely smells, it definitely smells like, I don't know, a little bit different than it did in the decant, which I think happens when, because when we decant things, they are exposed to so much more oxygen than they would be. I will be the first to say I never really thought about it until recently when I went through all of the fragrances that I had decanted and I realized just how much a lot of them had gone off. Or not, they're not, they haven't gone off, they've just changed. Or they smell a little bit differently because I think because of all the oxygen. It's funny though because I found that some of them actually smell better and I've had some of you tell me that you feel like after some of your fragrances have been exposed to more oxygen that they smell better. So it's not always a bad thing. Yeah, this definitely, it's got a passion fruit note in it and smelling it out of the bottle or coming directly out of the bottle, the passion fruit note is very, very prominent. It's so good though and it's sweet. It's got plum in it, it's got rose. You definitely get the freshness from the rose. It's got amber and praline, which is where it's getting its sweetness from. And it's funny because it reminds me of something, but all of the things that people say that they think it smells like on Fragrantica are not what I'm thinking. Um, people say it smells like Armani C. I don't think this smells like C, not even a little bit. I don't know where that is coming from. And people are like, so many people, like 40 something people have said that they think this smells like C and I'm not getting C at all. Some people say La Nuit Tresor. Maybe a little bit, but that's not it. I don't know. It smells like something to me. Maybe one of these days I'll figure it out. But yeah, it's really pretty. I really, really like it. I've been enjoying this. Um, I need to give this a really, really good full wear test, which I will do. You guys will probably see this in an upcoming What I Wore Last Week video at some point soon because I need to give this some love and yeah see how it actually performs on me um, out of the bottle. So anyways, that's the first one that's called Regina. And then the next one, you guys, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I have a full bottle of this fragrance in my house right now because I never thought I would be able to find a full bottle of this. Um, this is a fragrance from Guerlain and it's from the Arts and Materials line, but this is like the first um, it's from the first one. Now this same person, she just, she sent me a bottle of Queer Beluga from this line, which I couldn't, like, I could not even believe it. I, it, it, I mean, it is incredible, and it's such an amazing fragrance too. But this one she had, this is Neroli Outre Noir, and I have been obsessed with this fragrance for, mmm, 
probably two years now. Um, somebody sent me a decant. I, I cannot remember who sent this decant over. Um, I can't remember if it came in like just a bundle of things. I think it did. It's been some time ago though. And yeah, you can see I've been, this is the first original decant of it that I had. And you can see I've been through an entire decant of it. Um, I left a little bit because I wanted, because I wanted to save just a little bit of it. Well, she sent me, um, the person that I got this from, she sent me another decant and it made me fall in love with it all, all over again. And then she was like, again, like I've got this bottle. If you want it, I will sell it to you for a really good price. And I was like, heck yes. So she popped it up on Poshmark for me and here we are. Um, this is beautiful, you guys. And it's funny because I even got to the point where I was like, I'm gonna have to see if I can find a dupe for it because you know they repackaged and upped the price by $100 on these Guerlain fragrances. And so I was thinking I was gonna have to try to find a dupe, which is funny that I'm mentioning this because I'm gonna do a whole video on fragrances that I'm trying to find dupes for. Um, I have a whole running list of fragrances that I'm trying to find dupes for. Um, and this one was definitely on the list, but I'm so happy I don't have to find a dupe for it anymore. So this one has tons of Citrus in the top, it's lemon and grapefruit and petty grain and tangerine and then it's got tea. It's got a very strong tea note in the middle with neroli and orange blossom. And then it's got some very light resins in the base. It's got benzoin and myrrh. It's got vanilla and one of my favorite notes ever, ambrette. And it is the most stunning combination. It is by far the best tea fragrance and also at the same time, the best like neroli orange blossom fragrance I've ever smelled. It's so incredible. I just can't believe that I have a bottle of it. I mean, it was so, like it was so kind of her to let me buy all of these fragrances for really inexpensive and for the fact that she sent me a bottle of Queer Beluga to begin with, like, I mean, I can't even. And then to sell me these bottles for such a good price. Like I'm so, so incredibly grateful. They're amazing, but yeah, this is like a dream come true, seriously. Um, I've been wanting this fragrance forever and I knew I was never gonna be able to have it. And so I, I was on the hunt for a dupe of it, but I don't know that I'll ever find a dupe for this. Let me look up, let me just, I'm gonna look it up real quick to see if there's anything that people think this look, this smells like. Okay, it looks like some people think that this smells like the Maison Lancome fragrance called Orange's Biggerod. Um, I've never smelled that one, so I don't, I can't say. Some people say that this smells like Aqua Allegoria. Is this, yeah. Some people say that this smells like Aqua Allegoria Tiazura. Not even close. I own Tiazura and it smells nothing like this. Some people say, Elizabeth Arden green tea. Even I'm gonna thumbs that one down because it's just, it's not. This doesn't smell like Elizabeth Arden green tea, not even in the slightest. Yeah, there's just nothing. There are a lot of people, there are a lot of fragrances that people try to say it smells like, but it doesn't smell like, it doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled. The way that the orange and the orange blossom and the neroli and the tea and the ambrette, and vanilla, the way that it's all composed is, it's like magic. But anyways, I'm gonna stop talking about it. That one is Guerlain Neroli Outre Noir. It is such an amazing fragrance. And I am so incredibly thankful to have it in my collection. Next, I've got, okay, the last full bottle I have is this one here. I picked this up off of Mercari. I do not need this because I've already got a bottle of Sarah Jessica Parker um, or SJP NYC. This is like, this is one of my favorite fruity. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite fruity strawberry, like fruity fragrances. I don't have very many fruity fragrances in my collection, but this is one of my absolute favorites. This has got the most beautiful strawberry note in it. 
and it's like a wild strawberry note, which is just a little bit different than normal strawberry. There's, there is something a little bit kind of like wild smelling about it. It's hard to explain. Um, if you grew up in a place where wild strawberries grew and if you ever tried to eat them when you were a kid, which I did and it's not, I don't recommend it. They're not, <laughs> they're not sweet like normal strawberries. But you would understand like, but I feel like if you have, you know, if you grew up with wild strawberries as a kid, you would maybe understand like why I love this so much. There's just something amazing about it. I love it. But anyway, somebody was selling another one ounce bottle um, on Mercari for $7 and I could not, not buy it <laughs> because I love it. Mine is only a one ounce bottle anyways and I don't ration it, but this is one of those fragrances that I don't know if this has been reformulated or not. Um, so I, and I don't want to take my chances of like running out of it because I really do love it so much. This bottle is like completely different, designed completely different from mine too. So yeah, I don't know. I just wanted it. It was $7. So I went ahead and picked it up. So anyways, that is SJP NYC. It's, I'm working on a berry fragrance video and you will definitely see this come up in it. And I'll pull both my bottles so I can show them side by side. I also want to test them side by side just to make sure that, because I know that Sarah Jessica Parker's fragrances, I think are being manufactured by somebody else now. I want to say within the last few years, she changed manufacturers. So um, yeah, I don't know if that means that they were reformulated. I don't know if they're different, but I definitely want to tr tr test both of my bottles side by side just to see. Okay, next is my scent bird for the month. So, okay, I picked up for my scent bird, I chose this. This is the Commodity Gold, um, and it's, I guess, the plus. It's like the most... These come in different strengths now. So you can get like a normal version, like a middle version, and then like a really strong version. And I think this is the really strong version. Um, I like this just fine, but to me, this smells incredibly masculine. Um, yeah, this smells super, super masculine to me. Now, this is completely the wrong time of year for this. So I am going to hang on to this um, until cold weather gets here again, just because I feel like I can't judge this right now. I get, I'm getting a ton of vanilla, a ton of vanilla, some resins, some wood, and it's nice. It's really sweet. But I asked my husband if he wanted it and he felt like it wasn't masculine enough for him, but it leans I think a little bit too masculine for me. So what I might do is I might just hang on to this and layer this with my with the original gold. I have the original commodity gold that came out like before they closed down and revamped and came back. But it doesn't last long at all. Like it performs really really badly. So I may just hold on to this and try layering it with it with my original gold. So anyways, yeah, that is commodity gold. That's like this I think it's the strongest formulation of that. And then the last two are decants. So these are the decants that were sent over by a lovely subscriber. Um, she actually purchased a fragrance from uh, from Mercari from me. She per she picked up the Avon Aphrodisi Aphrodisiac fragrance, which is a beautiful fragrance. I just never reached for it and. Um, I didn't want it to go bad because it is a discontinued fragrance. But anyway, she sent me this one here. This is an Ilia fragrance, which I have been wanting to get my nose on some Ilia for a long time. Ilia is a Brazilian house, and yeah, I need to try to pick up some bottles. This is beautiful. This is called Ilia Secreto um, by Natura, and both of these fragrances that she sent are sweet and beautiful. It's so good. It's really, really sweet. Like, really sweet. It reminds me almost of like a Jean-Paul Gaultier scandal or... Um, yeah, something like that. It's It doesn't smell like scandal, but it's that kind of a fragrance. It's very thick, very syrupy, sweet, dense, rich 
warm, but really, really sweet. I love this. I'm going to be saving this for winter time. I think I'm just going to love this in the winter. And I did look it up to see if I could pick up a full bottle of this, and I was able to find um, a couple of people selling this. So yeah, really, really beautiful. Again, that one is called Ilia Secreto. It's gorgeous. And then the second one that she sent is this one here. Um, this is from Gloria Vanderbilt, and this is called New York. I think it's um, Min Minui. Minui, I think, but this is another one. It's it's a little bit similar to the Secreto, but it's different. Um, it's still, I really, really loved this one. Um, and also the fact that it's a Gloria Vanderbilt fragrance. Gloria Vanderbilt reminds me of my childhood because my mom had the original Gloria Vanderbilt fragrance, which I need to pick that up. Um, I need that and I need Jessica McClintock <laughs> to put into my vintage collection because my mom had both of those. She used to wear them both. I used to wear them both when I would sneak into her closet and spray on her perfume. So yeah, just the fact that this is a Gloria Vanderbilt fragrance makes me want it. But anyways, this is beautiful. Again, it's like sweet and warm. It's not, this one is not nearly as sweet as the Secreto, but it is still beautifully sweet and warm. Or this one, it smells like, both of them smell like they have plum in them. I don't know if they do or not, but they smell like they do. But yeah, this one isn't quite as sweet or as rich. This one is beautiful. I tried both of them on my skin. They both dried down beautifully on my skin. And this one is quite affordable. Oh, it is so good. This one I feel like could be worn any time of year. I feel like the Secreto, it's so, so sweet. It would need cooler weather. Um, this one though, it's sweet, but I feel like you could, I feel like you could get away with this in any kind of weather. But they are both beautiful. So yeah, thank you so much to the person that sent these beauties over. I love them. I love them both so much, but I love this Gloria Vanderbilt one. I, feel, I think it's so beautiful. So anyways, guys, that is just a short little haul video just to share with you a few fragrances that I picked up recently. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.